<laughs> hey Survivor fans, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out my Survivor Puzzle app. The link is in the video's description. So, for me it's between Natalie and Tony, and if they're both in the end, I would have to go with Natalie. Natalie, what she has done right, is that she has gone in as the underdog, the clear underdog. Everybody at the edge of extinction has heard for weeks now that whoever goes back in the game is getting voted out immediately. She hustled enough at the edge of extinction to find most of the advantages available. She, in a way, changed the game from the outside by sending these advantages. And her strategy wasn't to disrupt the game. Her strategy was to acquire as many fire tokens as possible for herself. And in a, doing so, she did, maybe unintentionally many times, affect the way the game moved. And so I think those are positives. She always was energetic and upbeat and helpful at the edge of extinction. And she was generous with most everyone there at certain times with purchasing peanut butter for people, sharing her own peanut butter, and then getting into the game, getting through the first tribal council and flushing two idols, and then scrambling to find another idol and sending Ben home. And so really right now, if Natalie gets to the end, I'm voting Natalie 100%. Nothing will sway me. She gave me an idol when she didn't have to in case I got back into the game. She's running the dream run I was dreaming about having for the last two weeks. I played the game four times and no single player in the game that I've been with has been that generous towards me. So I will do everything in my power to help Natalie win if she gets to the end. Honestly, I don't really fully know what Tony's done right so far, but I enjoy him at Tribal Council because he's a weirdo and he's goofy, and I always enjoyed talking to him uh, while we were playing the game. So even though he voted me out two times, and uh, he'll forever have that on his resume just above him being a police officer. But if Natalie's in the end, nobody can change my vote from Natalie. If Tony's in the end without Natalie, I don't foresee myself changing my vote off Tony for any reason. What makes a survivor player great I mean, it's a bit cliche, but adapting to the situation and, uh, and being able to implement the tools that you're provided with, being the advantages, the other players, it's, it's, it's a combination of so many things and also it's luck.